My name is Dean Bingham. Okay. Hey, Dean. Live in Anderson, South Carolina. And uh, I'm in business for myself, and I love to fly airplanes. All right. And what kind of planes have you had? I've had 152s, Warriors, PA-2160, and PA-2180. All right. So you're not new to aviation? No, since 77. All right. So now we are at Zenith Homecoming 2023. And is it the first time you've been here? First time coming in. And you flew your own airplane from? We flew in seven hours worth of flight time. We stopped one time, mainly to rest our butts because <laughs> the plane could not fly us. And uh, it would come all the way in on one fill up. Okay. But you you did not uh, build this plane? No. I bought somebody that built it that got too old to fly. That's what I understand. It. All right. And, and we've had it for going on two years. And you started out with a different engine, and now you have a Viking engine, I understand. Started out with a Continental. Okay. And how is it to fly now? Like I, I asked you, how was it to fly up here? And obviously it's a little different than what you're used to in the other airplanes you've had. And what are the disadvantages, advantages, whatever, with the Viking engine? Well, if you're, if you're looking to have fun, this is the plane to have it with. If you just want to go somewhere on a business trip, get something else, you know. But you can see the ground, you see everything you're doing, and... and it's just a ball to fly. I mean, you, you can land pretty much anywhere you want to land. It just, it don't use gas at all. I mean, it, it just, it just don't use gas. We can fly from our home in Anderson, South Carolina to Myrtle Beach, a two and a half hour trip, fly there and back on one fill up and still have six gallon of fuel left over the plane. So it's very economical. Very economical. I mean, in other words, it begs to be flown. All right. Well, you started out with the Viking 130 engine and a, a fixed pitch propeller, and then you right. switched to the variable. Uh, yep. Any difference there? World of difference. You can take this, this variable when you're running. You can, we're going to take off at 4,800 to 5,200 RPM. Mm -hmm. And when we get to altitude, we're going to bring it back to 3,850 or 3,880. And it's going to just sip gas, depending on the altitude, anywhere from 4.5 to 4.2, and from 7,000 down to, you know, 3,000. So it burns very little gas, very little fuel. Now, how do you operate it? Do you basically get to altitude and pull the throttle and pull the prop, or? We'll actually start feeding the prop in and, and go altitude. Like when we come up here, we'll go up slow, you know, 100 feet or 200 feet a minute, and bring it up and go ahead and bring the prop on out to make 3,800 RPM. So basically leaving the throttle in. Yeah, don't touch the throttle. So you basically now fly the airplane engine by on the, the prop, propeller? By the prop. Okay. So you, you take off, you climb out, you level off, and you, you're just moving the propeller. Right. Now, when we come back down, we set it to, de to descend 100 feet a minute when we're 30 miles out and you're 3,000 feet, and we're, we're where we want to be. Well, guess what we've done today? And, and there again, you're burning, when you get down to this altitude, you're burning 4.5. That's what we are burning before we come in, just at this lower altitude. Okay. 4.5 gallons an hour, and it, never no hiccups, never nothing. I mean, it's just absolutely, I would fly this plane over an ocean. I would fly <laughs> Turkey over an ocean because it's that dependable. Okay, well, that's very nice of you to say, and uh, uh, you've been an a, a awesome customer and friend of us, and uh, same with your partner that works with you, and the two of you are really enjoying aviation. Absolutely. And one thing else I want to say, your sur customer service is absolutely out the top. I had to have a prop and some other components here a few weeks back. Ten days I asked for them, and I had them. It's unbelievable. I think I texted you. I didn't get a response, but I texted you. That was mostly my wife that I appreciate that handled the that. enthusiasm with <laughs> which you approached that. Well, very good. Well, we want you to stay happy, and we want you to enjoy the airplane and the engine. Of course, uh, for us, it's about building engine that engines that people want and enjoy. Otherwise, what's the point? That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Anytime. Enjoy.